talk a lot about mental health in fishing and it, it certainly perks me up when you've got a bit of spring weather like this, great time to be on the beach. I don't know if you're catching those, so really good bites. Well, oh, it's glorious, isn't it? This is what we want, a bit of spring weather and hopefully some place. I've really got the sun on my back. This is fantastic. I'm going to start with the wishbone rig. I'm going to put some lug on here. So, uh, this is the lug we're going to use. So it's wrapped. It's still still got the guts in it but they're not the fresh out yellow tails that we had the other day easy to put these on without the uh, baiting needle just going to do a couple of worms uh, one on each of these long shanked uh, Aberdeen style hooks these are size ones I'm not going to tip those with anything to start off with. I'm just going to give it a go. Let's see, it's got the beads on there. Oh, well, we're going to walk this down then. First cast, always a fun bit. Make that drop a bit bigger. Do a little lazy cast. See what's about. So in my box here, uh, we've got that wishbone. We've also got these cascade ones. Put the cascade hooks on, and we'll pack some of these on. Maybe. So we'll mix this around. Different states of quality these lug but you see here this is the frozen one you really need a five ounce lead uh, to compress these continental rods um, and it will hold bottom in these tides as well so Five ounce.
Um, it's a great time to be on the beach. Hopefully we'll catch something as well, but in terms of the weather, we've got the wind coming off the land. Now, if you watched last week's video, uh, we struggled a bit, didn't we, with the place because I think, I think because of that wind direction. Uh, no excuses today for that. So that was a, a reasonable distance out. I think distance casting is the order of the day. Okay, I'll stick this one straight out. It's not been touched, those ones. I think um, I'm just going to go with those wrapped ones instead. Uh, normally the water will clear better on a ebbing tide, uh, but I'm quite happy with this today. There's a few other anglers here. It's a start, isn't it? The glorious orange spots in the sun, but it's a very, <laughs> it's a very small place. Well, it is hopefully showing that they're there. Look at that! Such a lovely fish that, and luckily I think it's nicely hooked. I hope that's being picked up in the sunshine here. Um, I don't know if you saw last week's video, but basically uh, John gave us some hook disgorgers. But actually, if you see here. You see how the hook is hicks here see here now rather than turn that and try and bring that through the best thing i can do is just cut it as quickly as you can i've just put him in a bucket of water but it's just to cut that first don't worry about your rig we're not match fishing or anything and we'll get this back in the water as soon as possible the sort of sky you want to see when you're place fishing. So I'm doing the usual little look around see what the tides have brought up. There are a few of these egg cases. I think these are Thornback Ray. There's a good chart you can get actually from the Shark Trust which show you the differences. But those ones there I think are Thornback. Well, it really is spring isn't it? Clocks have changed now. Some lovely signs of this spring now. We've got uh, pigeons building nests there, sparrows building nests we saw on our way in uh, and we're here on a glorious sandy beach not 
catching any place at the moment though. So this here is sea kale, you can actually eat it, check your local restrictions, um, but it's when it's new and fresh, uh, you can actually boil it and cook it, but I'm not sure if I fancy it. Have a little look at this uh, rod, black rod here. Um, there's a bit of weight on it. I just, it's not really a rattle. But... Lovely, nice little one. Uh, not quite big enough. Put up a bit of a fight though. Nice little scrap that one. Lovely. It's sometimes worth having a look at your casting, just uh, especially in slow motion. Uh, I can pick faults out there. Like that leaning on one side, not getting the power on early enough. Uh, but it's worth doing if you're into your beach casting. Do try and film yourself in slow motion. Uh, you'll see those little things that you need to work on. Should be able to. I should be able to just turn that hook. Uh, try not to damage the gills. You can see the hook, so it's a case of there you go. <laughs> and then rather than pull that through, I think uh, it's a case of unhooking it. So these are the bites that we're getting. So I want to show you the bites we're getting because really, really slight. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a better pull.
Uh, this was, uh, I think this was a dogfish. I had a big old pull on the rod and uh, then it got off. But it just, it just felt like a dogfish. A fish missed. Actually, the, the guy next to me had one as well. So, Well, I'm all casting criticism. Uh, I, this one's a little bit better. I was overreaching at the, towards the end of the cast there. I always say it goes 100 yards. I don't know really, I'll have to measure a cast I think soon. Well, I don't know if you're catching those, They're really good bites. Uh, and then it goes back to sort of gentle clucks. I think that first one is where they get hooked. A good bite on there. What I do a lot of the time is not try and strike, not try and lift into the, to the fish. Unless I think it's a bass. If it's a bass, I want to get on it as soon as possible. But I think these are little place bites. We had a really good knock on this green rod. But sometimes it's best to almost literally sit on your hands and stop you, uh, stop you trying to bring it in. You'll take that hook down. You run the risk, obviously, of the hook being uh, deeply lodged inside the fish. But there are two hooks, so you could just be hooking one and missing another. I've got to sit on my hands. So the tide's really starting to come in now, we're about halfway through the flooding tide. Moving these rods back as we go. So we've had a few fish, it's been a terrific day. I was saying earlier, it really did give me a lift I think, just seeing a bit of sunshine as well. It's a thing with living here in England. <laughs> Well, this is the rod that was tapping away. Let's have a little feel. Till the last minute. The weather has really turned. It's got quite cold now. They can be quite frustrating very weather dependent I think. This video here uh, is when we fish with John Locker from the Fish Locker channel. It's the video that YouTube really wants you to watch next so I don't know what else you're going to say. Comment that's what I want you to do. Do a comment. I love comments.